everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell it really helps me out and you never want to miss a video of mine so today's video is going to be another spot cleaning video um someone please count how many i've done of them because i know that i've done at least like 20 of these uh but i personally find them satisfying to watch so that's why I'm going to continue to do them. Also, my, my hair, I obviously took a shower, so my hair's a little wet. But um, I don't think there's going to be a lot of talking. I might do a little bit of talking in this video, but most of it is just going to be like kind of like a time lapse of Ivy's cage. Um, I think I'm only going to be cleaning her sand uh, and maybe a little bit of different things. I do want to do, um, I will be doing a cleaning video of my mice's cage. I want to completely like, not completely, but like definitely do something way different than I have in this cage. I have done it in the past with my other mice in my 35 gallon tank, but um, I haven't in the 40 gallon. So I want to do that. So I will film that. Let's get to cleaning. Okay, so if you can't tell, this is like all Aspen, when it's supposed to be sand, which it's hard to even see, it's supposed to be sand, um, but she has just decided to make all of her Aspen into her sand, so we gotta clean out her sand pit, and I'm probably going to add in some sand as well, um, and then hopefully, you haven't, you guys can't really see her Aspen pit, but it's a little bit a little bit messed up as well not as bad as her sand but she decided that she wanted all of her aspen in her sand as well all right get to the time lapse tank. Ivy, I'm cleaning your sand, baby. I don't want to sprinkle sand into you. Oh, look. Ivy. You know what, I'm going to put her in her holding tank because I actually want to add in a new one of these. It's from Ikea, like those, cause hers is dirty. So I'm actually going to put her in a holding tank. Okay. Hi Ivy. She's not gonna let me hold her right now because she sees food. Let me pet her though. Look at her little tail. Her little stubby little tail. How cute. Um, so I sprinkled some food in her holding tank. Um, also, since you guys don't really get to see Ivy much, look at how much white she has. She has gotten so much white on her because she's such an old lady. Just to show you guys. This is her little holding tank. I think I'm going to put her wheel in as well, but I sprinkled a bunch of food in there so she can also have that. And she'll be right next to me so I can look over if I need to. Let's go back to time lapse. Ivy is not a happy girl because for some reason her thing, her wheel will not turn in this cage and I think it's because, look at, oh god, it needs to be clean. Uh, it's like touching the bedding down there so it's having a hard time moving but she's not very happy so I'm gonna try and speed this up. Guys, it's already looking so good. Okay, now time to move on to the bedding part. 
Okay, this part is gonna be a little difficult because I don't want to take out any of the bedding. Um, I think I will most likely only take out um, the bedding that is inside of this, which is the old version of this one, which I already know this one is going to be so messy. It's gonna be so bad. Um, also, don't you just love it? I think I'm gonna switch this one with an orange though, because she doesn't use this. And I wanna add in, I wanna add in this, but I am soon doing a Halloween decoration, so this won't be in here for very long, but I do want to add that in over here. I swear you guys, I was just like, mm, I'm just gonna film a video of me cleaning her sand. Now it's turned into like a whole cage cleaning. Try. Actually, I'm gonna try not take out everything because I know for a fact that she has a burrow over there. So I'm just gonna try and take out this without ruining everything. I went to Ikea like a month ago and I'm now just changing it. Um, also, this food right here, I put before I put her in her um, holding tank because I, then realize that I should just change this, so. I already know it's really bad because I have in the past seen it. But here is the aftermath. I don't know how she got so much sand in here. Most of those spots are pee, but I don't know how she has a whole thing of sand right there so yeah but it is quite dirty so I've had this in here for quite a bit of time so I'm quite okay look she was peeing in that spot that's what that is but it's like sand I'm not gonna touch it touch it but this one's like a lot less heavy even though oh well it's a different kind actually that one just has like a line this one has a smiley face so I don't know how long this one's going to last since it is. Okay, also I put it right on the bottom because I don't want to waste any bedding. All right. Just got a bunch of poop and stuff. I feel like I'm ruining her area, but it's okay. It would be fine. Um, I'm gonna add some white bedding. I'm not putting Halloween bedding in hers. So. no toys over here because she doesn't use this she doesn't use it and it's a waste of burrow space so i'm just going to not even add in any toys over there because she doesn't need it she's not going to use it most of her toys are in her sand area and her aspen area so this side is just like her burrow area. Okay, I think I'm gonna add in this because I think she would like it. So I'm just gonna like sort of bury it because I think she would really like that. So I'm gonna add that in. Tell me you have a hamster Instagram and YouTube without telling me you have a hamster Instagram and YouTube. Don't think I don't have them on all of them because I sure do. <laughs> all right, so that is Ivy's cage clean out. I love it. I need to put a rock underneath her water because it likes to leak and it's so annoying. But isn't that so satisfying? I, it's just the water, but I can literally pick it up and throw it away. Where's my Ivy? You can kind of see the bedding moving. She's in there. All right, so yeah, here is her cage. Um, I took out this and added in this and 
I took out this and as you can see I spilled it all over my floor so I'm gonna have to clean but I took out that to add in this that I got the other day from Dollar General um I this is definitely like nine inches um I'm gonna leave a little bit of space just because uh but here is her cage um I will definitely say I love this area it's very cute and it looks nice i honestly i love all of it it looks always so nice but okay i'm gonna do it from far also if anyone asks yes i had a bird at one point i still have the bird cage don't know if i'm ever gonna get a bird again easy fast questions okay so i'm gonna do it from far just so you guys can kind of see a little bit better um so let's see if ivy will just go in to her wheel we could you want to go in your wheel to be transferred? Because I think that's the easiest. There you go. Please don't jump. Ta-da! Ta-da, Ivy. I put some food in there. Yeah, that is the video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I love doing these videos. I find it very satisfying and also satisfying when I go to edit it. Ivy, you want to say bye? Say bye, Ivy. Oh, okay. That's her bye. Say hi to the mice. Hi. Hi, Noel. I think that is Binky. Oh, there's Maya. Oh, that's Eve. Hi, Eve. And that's Noel. I don't know where Binky is. She's just exploring over here. I don't want to go set up my tripod so we're just going to do it right here um so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i will be having a mice video coming out soon but that will be for their halloween um cage and i don't know when i'm going to be doing that but it should be quite soon in september month ish um but i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys all in my next video bye guys i don't want to actually kiss my hands because they're all ivy-ness all right love you guys